Let's be real, all cringe aside, Love is Blind is a fairly entertaining show to get into. However, this doesn't mean it's always easy to watch. I'm your host, Michaela. Let's get into it. To honor its third season, Where Are They Now is counting down Liv's cringiest moments we just can't stop watching because the show is straight up awkward at best. Having completed its now triple run, the series depicts if singles have the ability to fall in love without seeing one another. Because of this, it's certainly had its share of cringeworthy scenes, most especially in its latest airing. We've watched Raven Ross partake in a pod workout while having a contestant's heart poured out to her, Bartiz Bowden confessing his attraction to another woman while coupled up with somebody else, and Andrew Lou faking literal confession tears after rejection. And this isn't even including the couple's weddings. How would you handle awkward moments on reality TV? Tell me your responses in the comments below. Taking our 10th spot is Andrew Lou. In what could only be one of the most out of pocket sh** I've ever seen from a reality star, fellow Lib contestant Andrew's reaction to his proposal being shot down by Nancy Rodriguez is straight up shameless. Andrew made sure the cameras in his confession over rolling before he started his elaborate and emotional speech, only to pull eye drops from his pocket and squeeze a few into his eyes in true jackass fashion. In a clear WTF moment, Andrew served us sniffles and all to simulate his real tears. After he put the eye drops in, he stated, I never thought I could care for someone that would bring me to tears. Following the season premiere, the ladies of the season didn't hesitate to call Andrew a trash clout chaser for the obviously phony moment. Now, according to reports, Andrew is located in Austin, Texas, where he lives a more comfortable and and happy life while he chases the passions he truly desires most as a proud urban explorer, wildlife photographer, and trucking company director of operations. It does seem like the Austin Cockrell Texas Uni engineer graduate is still flying solo and completely focused on his profession keeping him content. Taking our ninth spot is Shayna Hurley. After Shayna accepted Kyle Abrams' proposal, she also made one final attempt to win over Shane Jensen. Unexpectedly, a twist hit fans full force when Shayna met up with Shane and told him, I just wanted you to know that I do have deep feelings for you. In what could arguably be considered karma, Shane ended up turning Shayna down, admitting that they wasted time in breaking things off. Shayna would later confront Shane and Natalie at a bonfire by dissing their relationship, calling it fake. More recently, Shayna has moved on in life to get engaged to her boyfriend, Christos Lardicus. They've been together since March 2022 after her lips split from Kyle. People reported that Shayna accepted Christos' proposal on a Thursday, and the pair announced their future plans for a Greece summer wedding around the same time. Taking our 8 spot is Raven Ross. Raven's pod workout was mad awkward, especially when her pod partner called her out on it. In this hard to watch scene, fellow contestant Bartiz delivered a heartfelt confession to Raven about his parents' difficult divorce struggles. And this would be fine if Raven wasn't on the other side of the wall doing cat cow stretches, reverse push ups, and a bunch of jumping jacks. During the reflection part of this episode, Bartiz recalled, That was the beginning of the end for my parents' relationship. I would have never thought in a million years I would feel comfortable enough that I would share that effing story. I can't believe I just did. Following the scene, Going viral online, Raven issued an apology for the incident, stating exclusively to E! News, in the words of Kiki Palmer, I am sorry to that man. Currently, Raven and her former lib partner SK Lugbada recently broke things off in light of cheating allegations against the latter. Less than two weeks after the reunion episode aired, in which Raven and SK admitted they were together, the couple split. Raven announced their separation via Instagram Monday night, sharing that she cannot disclose updated details about their current situation due to legal proceedings and other undisclosed involvements. Taking our seventh spot is Jessica Vatt. Now, who could forget the unhinged dog drinking red wine incident? Fans worldwide were disgusted with first season villain Jessica after she allowed her dog to lick the inside of her wine glass to sip alcohol, something that is quite harmful to pets during her conversation with then fiance Mark Kuvas. Even worse, Jessica whispered, she loves wine while it was happening. Apparently, Jessica is just as mortified about the occurrence though. She dished this to Entertainment Weekly back in February 2020, saying, I definitely have never done that before. I won't do that again. I love my dog more than anything, and that was not something I would ever recommend anyone do. I think I was just really uncomfortable. I don't even remember doing it. I don't know why I did that, but it was definitely unnecessary for sure. Nowadays, a lip alum and her now husband Benjamin McGrath finally tied the knot after their September 2021 engagement and even shared exclusive details with brides about their small ceremony. The spouses were joined by a mere four guests during their intimate Santa Barbara's courthouse ceremony. Originally, this was not the wedding the pair dreamed of. However, they disclosed that several personal factors led them to stray away from their initial ideas of a larger wedding at the time. Taking our sixth spot is Bartiz Bowden. Following Bartiz's proposal to Nancy, they seem to be thriving in their little paradise, until Bartiz got a physical taste of Raven outside the pod blockage during a cast cocktail party. In light of this event, Bartiz went on to admit to Nancy that Raven was his ideal type of girl outside of the show. However, he branded himself as the season's most hated contestant due to his constant reminders and berating of Nancy after this. Once the seventh episode aired, Bartiz uploaded a TikTok admitting to making a mess on Lib. Now, there's no doubt that every 
Every Love is Blind season has obtained a fan given villain role, with the first being the fan proclaimed fiance stealing ages dog of Jessica and the following seasons body shaming objectifying prick Shake. Harsh, yes, but like our explanation of Jessica earlier, we'll get into why fans refer to Shake as such a little later. For now, we'll break down Bartiz and how the internet collectively hates him, even though everyone teamed up against Cole Barnett at the reunion. The 27 year old data analysis spent a lengthy portion of the season being engaged to Nancy. However, as revealed in the finale, they didn't work out. Even though Nancy was prepared to get married with a quick I do at the altar, Bartiz hit her with the harshest I do not in response. And even though this is the name of the game in True Force, Bartiz has been called a walking red flag even before the wedding, mainly due to his endless comments of being physically unattracted to his fiance during their honeymoon and continual confessions of attraction for Raven. Even with his quote narcissistic f boy Reddit title, Bartiz spilled major tea at the reunion taping, where he was exposed for flirting with a tall blonde days after his failed wedding. It was very obviously a three strikes and you're out situation, and of course, Twitter severely unloaded on him. Taking our fifth spot is second season. Villain Shake. Aside from just about every other cringy worthy Shake moment during the reunion, the most awkward came from him defending his unattraction to his ex fiance Deep D by comparing it to someone who wasn't even a part of the cast. Quote, Every woman here is beautiful. I think you're all beautiful. I'm not attracted to all of you. Unfortunately, the only one I'm attracted to is Vanessa, and I wish I wasn't. The point is, it's not a choice, it's nature. We're animals. Vanessa's husband Nick quickly clapped back with a reference to Shake's veterinarian occupation, jabbing, No. You treat animals, we're human beings. There's a big difference. Now I see why you don't treat human beings. Big yikes. Most recently, the lip star stepped up to take some accountability. In line with the backlash from season 2 fans, Shake issued an apology to Deep T for the hurtful commentary he made without her knowledge. However, even though Shake took accountability for his wrongdoings, viewers were not having it and continued to call him out. In his caption, Shake noted that he also privately reached out to his ex fiance. Still, in a more recent Page 6 interview, Deep T informed them that she had no regrets about rejecting Shake at the altar. After his apology, Shake shared in a separate Instagram post that he was in the process of launching a podcast called Love is Blurry, a title which references the comments he made while speaking with Vanessa and Nick during the heated second reunion. Taking our fourth spot is Shane Jansen. During Shane's time in the pods, his heart was divided between two women, Shayna Hurley and Natalie Lee. And yes, that's normal, but that doesn't kill the cringe from him misidentifying Natalie's voice as Shayna's, saying, Shayna, that's who I was hoping for. What are you wearing over there? Naturally, this upset Natalie, but to make it worse, Shane ended up storming off the room, saying, if this little hiccup is that big of a deal and that changes everything, then maybe this is not what we thought it was. Surprisingly, the two eventually made it to the altar, but Natalie didn't end up saying I do. Since their split, Natalie opened up about dating after her season 2 mess, where she exclusively shared with E! News during the November API Excellence celebration about how she was getting out more after leaving Shane. Quote, I'm dating, nothing serious. I'm just having fun with my girlfriends, meeting men, and you know, trying to find out what's best. In saying this, Natalie further confirmed having settled down, implying that her intentions for dating are always to blossom into a full relationship. Relationship. Taking our third spot is Shake. Coming in hot 2 for 2 is when the reality star was attempting to figure out the weights of the women in the pods. All facts aside that this experience is meant to be a blind date experiment, Shake repeatedly tried to push information out of the ladies regarding their physical appearances. In the pod segments, he kept questioning the female cast members, even asking Deep D if he could lift her in his arms at a music festival, and telling Hope Foley that he quote, gets along best with individuals that work out. Despite Shake later revealing he was a Ashamed of his probing, Shake later backpedaled during the reunion, stating, We all have our physical preferences. He would also later say that he felt like Deep D was his aunt. No wonder she shot him down during the wedding vows. Taking our second spot is Giannina Jabelli, who once told her partner Damian Powers that he was far from the best pleasure experience she's had in her life. In a rather brutal fight, Giannina crushed Damian's spirits when she informed him that their intimacy wasn't as chalked up as she made it seem, asking him, You know how you tell me this is the best of your life? Have you noticed I don't? return the compliment. Unsurprisingly, these two never made it to the altar, but they did get back together prior to their last breakup. Now, Giannina has happily moved on with her partner, Bachelor Nation's Black Horseman, as the two have now moved in together. After a year of love, the reality star settled in in a major way, and Giannina shared the news on Instagram in November, where she captioned the touching post, Honey, I'm home officially. Like
responded to the caption in the comments with she a Colorado girl now. Taking our first spot is Shane. Shane's doubled on our list too, this time because he explained only falling for Natalie because she told him she liked him first. After spending a day in the pods together, the men collected around a table to break down their feelings about the ladies. When Nick Thompson questioned Shane about what he likes about Natalie, he described his front runner as being attracted to him first. Quote, I'm a words guy dude, I was her favorite. You give me words of that, my ego goes through the roof. That's in today's WATN, thanks for watching friends. Thank <laughs> you.